Oke. Okay. Ini belum scan. Uh, alright. Uh, Oke, okay, I will view again the Okay, uh, please scan it for like uh, one minute. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Okay, scan. Oke, okay, I think most of you scan ready. So I think we should start uh, for our lesson today. Okay, for previous lesson, uh, we talk about chapter 7. Talk about chapter 7 about uh, demand, right? We talk about demand of transportation service okay demand means uh the society needs uh, transportation um either for passenger to move from one destination to one destination or for industry for the freight uh, to deliver their product to the customer all right so that's uh, about demand chapter seven okay when we go to chapter eight Now we want to talk a little bit about uh, distance, about distance. Okay, let me share first the slide. If you go to your OL, online learning, I already share you the PowerPoint uh, slide. And I also uh, put the exercise for the previous class. And this is the exercise for your uh, test also. Test one and test two. Uh, later, I will tell you how many uh, questions um, and then the durations to answer the, uh, the test. But that's how the test will be, where I will give you a question and then a little bit tips, okay? And maybe I will put later which page from books so that you can uh, have a hint how to answer. Maybe you find the questions is a little bit tough because uh, I use the HOT, higher order thinking level of a question. It means you have to think and answer. And usually by the advantage of that kind of a question is there is no right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. If it is a uh, LOT, uh, lower order thinking uh, questions, there is exactly the answer inside the book. Okay, example. Can you please list uh, the factors cause the congestion? Okay, so of course there is exactly uh, the answer there. But uh, for the HOT uh, questions, high level order thinking, Um, there is no right or wrong. Mostly how you relate uh, one uh, condition to another uh, condition, to the theory, how you relate to the situation. Uh, so you give your opinion. Okay, so when we talk about opinion, of course there is no right or wrong. But must be support with 
discussion. What is a discussion? If you just answer, okay, let's say you already do the um, exercise I upload in the OL. Okay, I ask you agree or not agree, and then you just put agree dot. I cannot give any more on that. You have to give explanation why you agree. Okay, why you agree. Okay, and then you say, uh, because based on the theory of uh, this person saying I can use these equations so that I agree with the answer because blah blah. But you also can say you not agree. Example, you said, the theory said uh, when the high population people in that uh, particular city, so that people who live between one city to another one city will prefer to go to another city that high, has the higher population. Okay, that, if you already answer that, the theory uh, said that the people live uh, between the destination will tend to go to a place that has higher population because they assume that higher population will have a better economy activities at the place okay but is it is it uh, true at every condition is it true at uh, every uh, population or place you can see some place that has a uh, high density has high population of people but the economy is not um, that good economy is not that developed okay so that's how you're gonna answer the high order thinking questions okay it's all based on discussion it's all based on uh, discussion Okay, can you guys hear my voice? Uh, can you hear? Can you hear my voice clearly? Can you hear my voice clearly today? Clear. Okay, okay, good. All right. So today we go to um chapter eight, chapter eight, which is transport system. Okay. Later you go back. You have time to look. Um. Actually, today is the my last uh, my last day uh, doing online class from this house because this evening I will move. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I already uh, get key house key for Tama University. Tama University lah, inshallah, or the perumahan area at the roundabout. So I will move this evening. So today is the last day I am here at this house. Okay, so every house that you go have your own memory, right? But uh, in your life, we have to move on from one step to one step, from one place to one place. Okay, no scare of fail, don't scare of failure. Okay, because failure fails means you try. Okay, only people that fail because they try. If they don't try, they don't fail. Okay, but they will stay in that. Uh, level in that level okay so today it's about transport system again we talk about distance okay distance okay distance uh when we talk about distance uh, of vehicles kilometer of travel okay uh, not we talk about we as a person a uh, travel and uh, not we talk about okay uh who's not travel from perlis to alostar take 40 kilometer i uh, know when we say about vkt is about a vehicles kilometers of travel okay if you go uh inside your car okay you uh, sit down at the driver side and then you look at the Odometer, no, at the dashboard behind the steering, you can see the number. Let's say 10,000 kilometer. So that means that your car 
already moved. Okay. That means the VKT of your car is already 10,000. Okay, 10,000. Okay, same to any uh, vehicles, a lorry, a truck, even uh, aeroplane or boat, ship, okay. Every vehicle got the odometer, uh, got the screen, show uh, how many kilometers already the vehicles move. Okay, since uh, you buy the car, since uh, they use the uh, vehicles, all right? Okay, uh, so, but somehow, uh, sometimes, some people, they can, um, what, uh, they can um, restart again the meter to zero. So that we don't know the exactly uh, VKT of the uh, transport. Okay. As an example, usually this happen when people want to sell their uh, motorcycle, okay, or sometimes their car. Okay, so uh, they use the motorcycle like every day going to work. So the VKT already like twenty thousand, but he just buy the bike only for one year. So what he do, he will uh, restart again the meter to zero, and then he use like for three thousand kilometer, four thousand kilometer, and then he will claim that uh, his motorcycle only used for four thousand kilometer uh, during the one year period he used. But the correct VKT is 10,000, 20,000. Okay, so why? Why we need to know the VKT of the transport? Okay. We really need to know the VKT of the transport because we know already uh, the capacity, the usage capacity of the engine. The usage, the usage capacity of the engine. Ha, tahu engine tu elok lagi ke tak? Kalau dah guna lama-lama, semua benda rosak kan? Ha. So, uh, that's why we need to know the VKT of any transportation when you want to buy any sub-sale or any second vehicles. Anything. Motor, car, van, lorry. Even if you want to buy boat later, you have to know the VKT. Okay, so beside all the things, the VKT for different country or region also different due to, okay, means that uh, vehicles at certain country move less than vehicles at another country. Okay, uh, usually it's because uh, the population density, the population density. Of course, when many people use car, so the VKT for the car, when we sum up, will be higher. Okay, will be higher. Mak Senah guna kereta, Mak Cik Leha pun guna kereta, Pak Abu guna kereta, everybody use car. Okay, so when we uh, total up every car vehicles, okay, Mak Sena used 10,000 kilometer already. Pa Abu used 5,000 kilometer already. So total up is 15,000. So that's mean by the population density. When so many people use uh, vehicles in the area, so the VKT for transport will be increase okay now so density of settlement okay distribution of population provide information about the use of settlement area and possible saving or densification potential as well as poor utilization of infrastructure okay however high population uh, many people using the car 
sometimes doesn't affect the BKT. It's also based on the how the person use the car. And then um, the um, maybe in one area, uh, let's say in Malaysia, uh, yes, we have uh, high density people. Okay, but so many people use car. Okay, use car. But okay, let's say in Indonesia also got many people, high uh, population, but they use uh, bicycle, okay, they use um, motorcycle, right? Maybe they prefer walking. In some other developed country, they prefer cycling, okay? Uh, you see their roots good, uh, good sorry, <laughs> got the specific area for the cycling activities, okay? So a uh, high population also sometimes don't really uh, give the high VKT for the country. And also next is the size of contaminant lah. Okay, size of the area. Size of the area. If you have a very fast transportation, if you have so many transportation, but the area that you can go is limited, so how can you use your vehicles okay so the vkt of your vehicles will be less okay will be less all right okay what this picture tell you about this picture you see you got the number of vehicles increase vkt Per vehicles increase. Okay, okay. Uh, can I use VKT after this? Okay, I will not use uh, the very long term. Okay, the long term is vehicles kilometer of travel. The short term is VKT. So I will use VKT. Okay. So the idea is uh, when numbers of vehicles increase, the VKT per vehicles will decrease. Okay. Lagi banyak kenderaan yang ada, lagi kurang VKT yang digunakan oleh setiap kenderaan. Okay. Increase number of vehicles and the increase uh, number of variety of vehicles. Okay, we have variety. We have bus, we have car, we have train, we have ship, we have aeroplane. Okay, so we, it will reduce the VKT per vehicles. Okay. Why? Why? Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say you only have car. So you, have, you want to travel from Perlis to Johor Bahru. Okay, you get your car, you start the engine, and then you drive from Perlis to Johor Bahru. And then when you look at the odometer, your VKT for your car already increased like, how many? Uh, 500, uh, 500, 500 kilometer. Okay, so VKT for your car will increase 500 kilometer. But, when you know that there is a variety of transportation that you have, so maybe you decide from uh, your house uh, to the uh, Arau uh, KTM station, you want to use train. Okay, so you use car, your car, from your house in Kangar to the KTM uh, station at Arau, it's only 10 kilometer. So, so that the VKT for your car is only 10 km and then you go on the train and then the train will go to Gemas. Okay, so now it's VKT for the train only from Arau to Gemas and then from Gemas you said okay I want to go eat with my friend at the Serambai and blah 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 and then at the night you decide to take bus from Gemas to Johor Bahru. So on that time, it's VKT for the bus from the Gemas to Johor Bahru. Okay, uh, understand? Do you get the example? Okay, doctor. Yes, doctor. Okay, thank you. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I... Next is, um, okay.
Okay, this is a um, highway. Highway. We have highway, right? In Peninsula Malaysia. And we have highway in uh, Sarawak also. Okay, so every country got their road system. Okay, road system. So in Malaysia, we have a highway system. Let's say in Peninsula, uh, we have from um, Alustar, right? Uh, Hutan Kampung. And then straight away until Skudai, Johor. Okay. So that is our main uh, Peninsula Malaysia Highway. And then uh, when we go out, we exit uh, the toll, uh, we go into the state road. Okay, state road. Okay, it's belong to the state uh, government. All right, so let's talk about the state. So what the relationship between all this uh, road system with the VKT? Okay, because uh, some road uh, cannot be used by certain vehicle. Okay, example of uh, um, heavy heavy load truck. Okay, like uh, more than uh, ten. Uh, time, ten time, so um, they are very heavy, so they can use the road, or maybe they are very big. The truck, the lorry, the container is very big, so they can use the road. Okay, so some uh, road can be used for certain, uh, for certain uh, vehicles. All right. Uh, actually, uh, there is issue. Uh, recently about the cycling activities on the road. Actually, there are issue that they want to limit uh, the road that can be used for cycling activities. Okay, because of safety issue. Uh, so that's example of the limitation type of vehicles on road. Okay, why um, some heavy load a container uh, lorry cannot go on certain road. Okay, first because of the size. Okay, second because of the traffic. Because of the traffic. Okay, uh, third uh, because of the quality of the road itself. Okay, if uh, the container is very heavy, it will cause uh, damage to the road. Kerosakan jalan raya because of the materials used to make the road okay okay then we talk about pollution not population lah. pollution pollution trends okay when uh, this is a uh, theory okay this is theory and assumption who make the theory who make the assumption okay it's human Okay, it's human, all right? So you can uh, agree, or you can say, I agree with a certain condition, I think I, you need to improve this area. Or I agree, yes, and I have a new idea, it will make the idea become better. Okay, so um, also when we talk about pollution trend, what is the relation between a pollution trend and VKT. They assume that when increase number of VKT, okay, when increase numbers of VKT, we increase the pollution. Why? Because when there is a more uh, movement of uh, transport, it will release more gas emission. It will release more GHG gas to the environment which is will harm the environment and cause pollution okay next uh train uh, train train transport 
Okay, so this is trend. Like what I say, assumption made by a person based on his study, based on his experience. Okay, uh, so uh, that's why you can come up with your own idea. You can come up with your own argument. Okay, so this is trend in transport system development. Every country show very trends based on several factors such as okay. So every country got different style. You can always discuss based on your situation. That's why in your personal, uh, in personal, sorry, your individual assignment you are allowed to do based on your uh, country where you stay. All right. So first, it can be based on the development. Okay, the rate of development every country is different. We have developed country and we have developing developing country. Okay, negara yang membangun dan negara yang sedang membangun. Okay, and then uh, based on the need for transportation. Okay, need for need for more transportation. What factors that need for more transportation because of increase in demand? Why increase in demand? Not because increase in population. Okay, increase in demand because the increase in the need, the need for people to move. Okay, it's not because. Okay, if you answer because increase of population is not enough, you have to say increase the number of demand for person to move. From one location to one location. Alright. Okay. And need for more transportation to deliver goods or product to the customer. And then uh, automobile ownership. Okay. Where is a uh, number of automobile ownership? Pemilikan kenderaan. Okay. They assume that when number of people use the transportation increase, the VKT will also increase. The VKT will also increase. Why? Okay, example. If everybody, uh, if everybody after you uh, finish your degree, you can buy your car. Even with your degree certificate and your mom and your dad uh, sign as a guarantor, you can have a car. Can you imagine in uh, one year, like got 1,000 students graduate and you can buy a car. So there is 1,000 owner of car. Uh, let's say the government uh, shrink or reduce uh, the, um, the rule to buy a car. Um, maybe the government say you have to have uh, like one year payment, uh, pay salary, okay? So, some of you need to use bus, okay? Need to use bus, okay? So, in the bus, you got many people, like 40 people. Can you imagine if the 40 people, person in the bus use car, use car? So, there will be 40 car on the road compared to one bus. Okay, so when there's so many cars used compared to only one bus, so the total up VKT will be higher. Okay, 40 car VKT total up will be, of course, will be higher if we use only one bus. Okay, so increase the ownership of automobile will increase the VKT number of vehicles. Okay, now we talk on, uh, on the damage occur. Okay, damage can be a uh, uh, damage can be like war, war. Okay? okay, so when there is war happen, uh, so people don't use uh, vehicles too much. Okay, they don't have vehicles. Okay. All right. Uh, and also based on the government rule and subsidies. So what's uh, what the relationship between the government rule and subsidy with the VKT? 
Okay, I just give you example. When the government uh, allow many ownership of vehicles, so that the VKT will increase. Okay, so it's all come back to government rules and regulation. How you want to um, make about the CO2 blueprint, you know, carbon dioxide blueprint. Okay, we want to reduce the carbon dioxide in the environment. But how come we in, we uh, reduce the uh, carbon dioxide in the environment uh, when the number of vehicles is increased? Okay, but we have to increase the number of vehicles on the road for the income, for the income, for the government income. How the government income? When they sell proton, when they sell produa, government get income. Okay, when you buy Toyota, you buy Mercedes, you buy a BMW, you pay tax. Okay, you pay tax for the government, right? And then the toll, toll, toll. Okay, more car go through the toll, government will get more uh, money, right? Uh, and then what else? Um, and then when more car uh the maintenance industry uh the workshop industry okay will increase it will increase the employment it will increase the employment it will increase the need of the worker so that uh more students in the university it will uh give so uh we have to think more back to the economy so this is very complex things Okay, so very complex things. Okay, last uh, motor vehicles of uh, fatalities and accidents. Okay, um, Malaysia have a great um a great number of accidents every year. Okay, uh, so many people die on uh on road. Uh, but based on my um my opinion, when I go to a class for driving class, uh, my the teacher said uh, because of our because of our um, habit because of our attitude yes uh, mostly Malaysian people we like to drive fast we like to drive fast okay so that's uh, the major cause of accident on road okay, so when there is more uh, number of vehicles on road on road on road <laughs> okay so there will be a higher possibility of accident will be higher possibility of accident okay and uh, so what's the relationship between the vkt okay so usually when there is more accident um uh, government will uh, try to reduce the number of vehicles, personal vehicles on the road. Okay, uh, government will start uh, encourage uh, people to use public transport. To use public transport. Okay, when people start use public transport, of course the VKT number will reduce. The VKT number will reduce. Okay, what is petrol consideration? Okay, for the special consideration, at the T is in here. All right, uh, please go back and read by yourself. Okay, go back, read by yourself, and then if you don't understand, you can WhatsApp me. Or you can ask in your group. Okay. Uh, and I'm sorry for those who WhatsApp me. Uh, Sometimes I uh, forward the message to the group. Uh, not to humiliate you. <laughs> sorry, no. But I just want to share with your friend. If you don't understand, you ask me. I'm sure there is some numbers of students that don't understand. Okay, but they don't. Maybe they don't uh, step in front to ask me. Okay, anything, just ask me. Okay. I think um, you can go back and read it. It's mean other other consider other other line sorry <laughs> others consideration okay others considerations okay 
So this law of retail gravitation. Okay, retail. Retail is membeli belah kan? Retail membeli belah. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity, what we learn in science is when we um, release any any materials, it will fall down. It will fall down. If you release any material, it will go up means you are not on the earth. On the earth. Okay. On the earth. Alright. So, gravity. So, what um, attract people to buy? Okay. What attract people to buy? Okay, if you go to marketing class, maybe some of you take finance, business study. Okay. Of course, we are BBA, right? BBA logistics. So you are like a business class logistics or business who really know more in logistics and supply chain. Okay. When we do business, you have to know the gravitation of retail. How to attract your customer to buy from you. How to take other people customer, how to uh, find new customer and new market. Okay, so this is a theory about a uh, theory by Rayleigh, 1929. This is very, very long theory. So maybe they got another, got another theory. I also have to check it out uh, later. Okay, so uh, his theory, he come up with theory of breaking point. Okay, theory of breaking point. You can check in my YouTube, I already upload uh, some discussion about this breaking point. Okay. So he suggests that a uh, higher population will have a good economy and will attract more customer. That's his theory. Right, okay. Okay, you go back and you read more. Uh, this is mode choice. Mode uh, mode, mode, uh, mode of choice, okay? Uh, we have how many mode? We have uh, land, uh, we have uh, water, we have air, pipeline, wire, wireless, okay? Mode choice. So everything, um, this is other, uh, other factors. Okay, other factors. Example, you take the first one. Time spent in the transit vehicles. Okay, the transit vehicles. What I, what I understand by transit. Okay, when you, you go out from one uh, vehicles and then you want to transit to another one vehicles. So you waiting uh, the time. Okay, let's say you <coughs> go on airplane, go flight. From uh, Kepala Batas, you want to go to Senai, but there is no uh, no direct uh, flight from Alusta to Senai. So what you do is you take from Alusta to KLIA, and then from KLIA you go to uh, Senai, uh, Johor. So you will think, okay, how many hours I have to sit at the KLIA waiting for the next three? Okay, or maybe uh, maybe you take bus. Okay, let's say you take bus and then you want to transit using the KTM. Like my friend, uh, he come from Gemas. Um, <clears throat> so on that time, uh, he only can find bus from. This is a very very stronger story. <clears throat> he come from Gemas. He come from Gemas with car uh, to the terminal terminal bersepadu um, KL terminal bersepadu TBS TBS KL by car and then from TBS to uh, Butterworth uh, he took um, bus he took bus from Butterworth to Arau. He took a uh, train and then from Arau to Chanlun, I fetched him with my car. So there is four transportation for him to arrive at the destination. So one time at the 
batu was when uh, she uh, when he go down from the bus and then he want to take the train it takes like three hours three hours because uh when he arrived the only train available is at 8 a.m three hours later so what can do because he already in the middle of the of the journey so he just wait for three hours so before you make your journey you have to think very well about the transit okay so all these diseases all these go back and try to read and uh, relate relate with the vkt relate with the pollution with the time really everything relate if you cannot do it uh if you don't understand you can always come back to me okay so what else so many you go back and you read okay waiting time traffic traffic uh some some people they want they don't like to go on traffic using cars so they take flight some take helicopter you know okay so this is what it is okay root choice uh root choice first mode choice this is root choice Lalu one, okay, one. If you use the GPS, sometimes the GPS will turn you to another route, okay? Because in front of you got congestion, but most of the most of the time I just go through the congestion because not it's not very congestion at all, lah. So the root choice. Uh, for uh, if you are a logistic company, you are transporter. Uh, yes, you really have to decide the route. Okay, uh, because first certain road, certain road, you can you cannot go through because of the um, uh, you are very heavy. Okay, heavy transport. Uh, second, you want to you want to uh, uh, you want to you want you you don't want to face the the congestion. Okay, uh, third, uh, because of um you aware that in some route uh, the transporter this heavy lorry truck can only uh, go on that road only on certain time ada masa-masa dia tak boleh lalu jalan tu okay uh, there are limitation in time for the uh, higher load uh, heavy uh, lorry container cannot use the specific route okay between uh, usually during the um uh time like people want uh after office hour okay example from 5 p.m to 7 p.m okay if you use truck lorry you can go to the route okay there is some of your route choice okay so you go back and you read and so try to fill in this other approach of traffic assignment okay try to fill up this okay and go back uh go back and look at the part two uh, inshallah, we try my best to upload a video on the part two in a YouTube. Actually, we put in the YouTube. Okay. Uh, if you subscribe me, you can get uh, you can get early notification. Don't wait until one day before your test. I know. Um, yes, without the video, I share you still can answer it. Okay. However, um, I hope the video will help you. Uh, more to give a good answer to get a good mark. So that's it for today. Any question? I have a question, Doctor. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you, you Doctor. Thank you very much. So I will share back the attendance. All right. Okay.
So for those who not uh, scan the barcode, uh, please scan. For those that already scan the barcode and nothing to ask me, uh, thank you very much for today. Uh, see you next week. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. Um, doctor. Okay. Uh, tarikh test. Uh, tengok dekat OL. Ada saya dah letak. Test 1, test 2. Dalam week tu. Tarikh pula. Test 1, hari Ahad. Test 2, hari Rabu. Okey, Doktor. Terima kasih. Sama. Uh, Mr. Kiat, you want to me to add you manually? Oh, yes, madam. Okay, let me let me do it. Enam sembilan tujuh lapan dua enam sembilan dua enam sembilan tujuh lapan dua okay dan thank you okay thank you have a good day.